lawyers are supposed to be models of of good conduct but this is not happening sir are, are you not worried again about this well let me say this let me take the last question first mm. uh, i feel very very sad about what happened and we saw it coming uh Ademola is here when that boy Adayakpata came on board the way the yoruba leaders the egbe amufi we took a unified position that we will not dignify that boy with our presence at tenure of the eba gathering unfortunately some of our people who took that decision alongside with us betrayed that trust Coming from the background that I, I, I have, no, really progressive. When I take a decision, when I say this is what I'm going to do, I'm not good. Even at the risk of my life, I stick to that. Ah, hmm. uh, we took that decision in Ibadan here. Shivola Nipeku happened to be the leader of Egbe Amufin in Nigeria. I happened to be his deputy. I took that decision. Shivola Nipeku and I. Have religiously kept to that position, but unfortunately, some of our boys and girls felt otherwise because they wanted to be in office, one office or the other. Again, everything boils down to poverty, poverty of ideas, poverty of knowledge, poverty of integrity. It's not just it's not just material poverty, hmm. and that's where people are missing it. When we speak about poverty, people think we are talking about Naira and Kobo. No. When people are suffering from poverty of ideas, they tend to commit this type of uh, self mutilation. That's what's happening to the MBA. In, when I came in as a young lawyer, we had our leaders in high esteem. Their words were laws. Whatever they say, we follow. But this was okay, boys and girls came up. And they set out to ruin the legal profession. At the last body of benchers meeting, that guy attended the meeting in first factual lane, Akbata. And because we, 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 we didn't buy his idea, he went and issued a release calling first CJs, ostrich. And he said they sat down there, three former uh, CJN and the incumbent one, they started they are playing ostrich. He made that release. And one of his Supreme Court justices asked us, how did this one become your president? Hmm. And we said, well, this sort of okay, boys. The NBA conference you are referring to, you observe that no single Supreme Court justice was there. No single court of appeal justice was there. Apart from the chief judge of Lagos, who went there to represent Sanghulu. Most of us senior, senior lawyers were not there. Except those who betrayed the trust, hmm. the agreement we reached. Hmm. That boy has never practiced law before in this. Like he's a transactional, transactional lawyer. He cannot even move him. He has never done so. He said so himself. He doesn't go to court. He's a businessman. He's a transactional lawyer. And you make such a person your president. Nobody who doesn't even know the psychology of the court. He doesn't know the geography of the courts. Hmm. And when we are telling them, look, I was at a meeting as a young lawyer where our then CJN ways who have to bow to Kenny Shofola. Who is he to speak when Kenny Shofola is speaking? But if that is the case now, those boys and girls are want to climb the tree from the top, they are ready to push everybody aside. You even see some of them coming to go to ask whether they could mention their case first. Even an ex example, uh, one reason of saying that they want to go to somewhere. In our days, we flock to go. Our seniors will draft us to court to go and watch Akidi, GOK, Williams, when they, when they are coming to this battle. All of us will trunk the court premises to watch them, to learn from their fountain of knowledge. Well, if that is the case now, everybody wants money, 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 money. See, and that is the 
Genesis, our sense of value has been thrown to the winds. It's not peculiar to, Niger to, to the bar association. It's everywhere. It's all, not, in all professions. And you see, unbridled freedom breeds in discipline and breeds corruption. And that's what we're having now. I never attended the meeting because I've said that I'll never dignify him with my presence. Of course, the NBA or your was all of came to me to my to my support before going and we told them what to do and what not to do. But the question is, when they get there, what to do? We don't know. But we, all we can tell you is that majority of our members from the South we are moving, we are holding on to that principle. Mm. And I can assure you, and I'm saying this on here, you will not find any member of Egbia Mufi in that describable act. They can bring out the video. God said they are going to, you will not find any Yoruba man in that type of describability. No, 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 no. Our Loriki, we stand for something. And if you don't stand for something, you fall for anything. And that's what the gospel we have been preaching to our, member, to our members, the younger ones. Some of them are here in this studio. They are lawyers, even though they are politicians, they are lawyers They're looking at me. So we tell them what to do and what not to do. And they obey us. We obey our seniors. Don't forget, we were the last to form tribal union within the profession. We were against it initially. The people started it, followed by the Ariwa. After the 1992 bar conference of 19, uh, of, uh, in Port Harcourt, when the bar was bacchanized. The bar came back together in 1998. We were in limbo for six years. So, and we saw this thing coming. You see, and we now have a country of anything goes. We now have, you uh, know, we now have quarter, quarter teachers, quarter professors, quarter sad, quarter judges, quarter governor, quarter principal. Everything about us has been cauterized. We are so cauterized our lives that the center can no longer. So you are saddened with the development. It's very, very sad. Quick one on very the very conservative sad. beginning to roll back, you know, what 